Leonardo da Vinci died in 1519. He left his entire output and all his artwork to his pupil, Francis Melzi, who returned to Italy with his drawings and his books. When Melzi died in 1579, his heirs started to dismantle the books for their artwork and sold them off without realising the importance of keeping everything in sequence. Today, only 5,000 pages of notes and drawings in his mirror image writing uh, from right to left remain. This is one of the, his drawings, a copy showing uh, a dissection of the brain and the eyeballs and showing the crossover left eye to right hemisphere, right eye to left hemisphere and clearly showing the crossover point which is the optic chiasma mirroring my own research. This is my own up-to-date drawing of how the visual system works. There is a right and left field of vision uh, and as you can see uh, the red and the pink uh, cross over to the left hemisphere and the two blue areas which are secondary cross over into the right hemisphere. Leonardo da Vinci's uh, documents and books were scattered far and wide. They are now in ten different collections. The Vichy Royal Commission, established in the 19th century, uh, has the aim to reconstruct the original arrangement of the manuscripts, and only when this is done will the true genius of Leonardo da Vinci be understood. At the moment, the British Library has uh, a large section. Uh, there is uh, two uh, collections in Milan, one in Paris, one in Turin. Uh, the Victoria and Albert Museum has the Foster collection. Bill Gates has some uh, documents of Leonardo. The Royal Collection of the Windsor uh, Folies. And there is a collection in Spain. I will ask you to Google Leonardo da Vinci as uh, I, I can't reproduce his handwriting and you will see for yourself. As I've stated, there are 5,000 documents with drawings and handwriting, most of which are in a written in a right to left orientation. You will clearly get the, the full breadth of how much work uh, he he put out in a right to left orientation. Now Leonardo da Vinci from his experiments as we showed in the last video had discovered that it's not the eyes that do the reading. The eyes are purely a camera picking up an image. It is the brain that interprets this image and therefore reading text is a function of the brain. This clearly shows that if the information the brain receives is incorrect it can only interpret the, the information that it is offered. This is a crucial indicator that has been mis or misunderstood. In this drawing we are showing why Leonardo da Vinci wrote from right to left. This shows the word was written in a right to left orientation so that it can be projected to the back of the retina uh, as saw and it is then sequenced W A S and it then goes to the left and right hemisphere of the brain as was. I will show you this again repeating the previous experiment. Here we have the word was written in a right to left orientation and here we clearly show how that is projected to the back of the retina uh, as a mirror image and it is inverted as saw but it is sequenced W A S when it go, crosses through the optic chiasma to the right and left hemisphere of the brain and that gives a true uh, image of the word for spelling purposes and memory purposes. In the previous video we mentioned palindromes 
and palindromic words. Is there any evidence to support the claim that dyslexic people can fare better memorising palindromic words or reading palindromic words? There certainly is. I'm going to have to ask you to Google Shilcock, Monaghan, uh, Louise Kelly and uh, MacDonald. Uh, Shilcock's in uh, um, Edinburgh and Monaghan's in York. You will see from their work if you uh, put in processing of palindromes in neglect dyslexia, uh, visual word recognition, hemisphere division of labour in reading and you will get the necessary uh, pages up on the internet. Shilcock and Monaghan state the subjects of neglect dyslexia were significantly less pronounced uh, when presented with palindromic letters. So is there any other evidence to support this? Any other language that has palindromic letters or characters that can support this claim? There certainly is. This is Japanese characters. Obviously Chinese preceded Japanese and Chinese is similar to Japanese. As you can see from a very simple character they start to get more and more complicated but if you look at these characters on an XY vertical axis you will see that they are palindromic. That is to say that, the, that if you split them down the center they will fold on each other and be mirror images of each other. Now that there is no reason for this except for the, for scanning purposes and I would suggest that the Chinese discovered the same problem that Leonardo discovered in the 15th century prior to the reign of the first emperor and uh, the first J Chinese characters are would be palindromic. Uh, I'm not a Chinese expert and I, I can't check this so if there's any Chinese person out there who knows what the first 2,000 Chinese characters look like please email me. These are more complicated Japanese characters and on first sight they don't look palindromic but they are because they are double palindromes. Uh, the right hand section is is a palindrome and so is the left hand section so it is two palindromes together. This clearly indicates that the Chinese had identified a similar problem uh, and uh, this was lost because uh, the first emperor burnt all the books that did not relate to warfare and this was lost in antiquity. In the next video we will continue with palindromes and I will go on to explain that, that even Greek is a palindromic uh, language. Thank you for watching. Please look forward to the next video as all together they will show how Leonardo da Vinci's discovery or rediscovery in the 15th century has been lost for over 500 years. Thank you for watching.